Democracy. What an incredible concept. I mean, one man, one vote. Power to the people. Could it be any better? But does it work? I mean, let's have a look at it. Here in South Africa, recently we had elections, all the parties come out, no clear winner. So what do they do? They all get together and jump into this little showboat, clap, 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 do. And off they go. So now we've got a government of national unity. Meanwhile, on the fringe, we've got changing sides. And first with the blessing of the God of the EFF, and then facing the fire of wrath, as old Floyd decides to go and join MK. Looking further out, I mean, <clears throat> Zelensky in the democracy of Ukraine, dictator, no longer actually rules because his term came to an end, but he's still in power with the support of Big Brother, who's supporting everyone. Uh, yeah, dictatorship, but it's democracy. I mean, it's recognized by America as democracy. And let's look at Israel. Well, it's a democracy the same as South Africa was basically before 1994, except Israel's got a lot worse, it kills a hell of a lot more people, a lot faster, much more efficiently. And uh, 7 million people, same amount as the Israelis, Arabs, oh, sorry, they cannon, not cannon, well, they are, they cannon fighter, bomb fighter, shrapnel fighter, and getting wiped out. But, democracy because America sees it. Meanwhile, the ICJ is turning around and saying, no, genocide, genocide, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, uh, criminals, war criminals all over the place. And again, the major superpowers are saying, never hold it. You know, maybe the, the ICJ is not really cool. You know, they're bad guys as well. Yeah, probably terrorists. Again, but then let's go to Venezuela. Venezuela, democracy. So the state supports one side and the other side says they're in power and boom, all over the place, crazy. Uh, democracy. Uh, coming into Africa, uh, Libya, <laughs> we took out a dictator, bang, democracy came and only on the Tripoli side there's one lot of uh, guys in place and on the eastern side there's another lot of uh, Libyans that are fired, both with big soldiers and big guns and they're at war ever since. So democracy sort of failed dismally there. Uh, all over the world, people turn around and say, I oh, know we democracy. And the countries are falling apart. The dictatorships are great. I mean, like okay, Russia is, it says it's democratic and people vote. They can either vote yes or they don't vote. But anyway, but look at it, successful. Look, China, China, to, China, the subject of war, isn't it? Eh? That the whole world has been, is still is mooding each other and killing each other and getting guns from all over the sides and China just doesn't they build roads and they build industry and hey, we'll take your factory and everything and they do it but they do construct it so democracy does it actually work and then of course let's go to America let's go to the United States they just had their, their uh, democratic extravaganza didn't they <clears throat> all of them doing their thing Michelle and Obama and uh, yeah, the whole world was a speech. The, you know, any one of them could have on stage, they could have picked their nose and farted in public and they would have got a standing ovation. I mean, the crowd was so apt. That didn't really matter. Is that democracy? Well, I don't know. And then, of course, we've got Trump that is trying to get Elon Musk to run in states and government. What's his credentials? He made a lot of money. Yes, he's good at making money. No problem. But what does he know? He started trying to stick his nose into Venezuela, got involved in Ukraine, wanting to put up his little satellites. And his... Well, what's happening? Where are the philosophers, people that can think? But why doesn't it work? Well, I think let's turn around and look at the concept. I mean, picture this. You want to pick the South African or national soccer team. So you fill a stadium with 70,000 people, all soccer fans, big time. Wow, 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 wow. And you put all the players on the field, all of the potential players. And then the people in the grandstands have got those little voting pads and they can vote for the players they want in the team. Do you actually think that they would have to choose the right team? Very unlikely, eh? very unlikely. Why? No, they don't know who they like, but they don't know what it takes to constitute a team, what the different strengths and how they put together. It takes people, coaches, managers, people that are involved in the game to have a look and work out what players would be needed to be put into a team that could be formed and excel. 
So the concept from that side is just seems flawed that this one man, wouldn't it make more sense to turn around and vote for people with credentials to actually choose? So the same, instead of that we vote for the president or vote for a party, we vote for people that have the credentials and academic training and whatever it takes to select people that would actually vote. That seems to me a lot more sense. I mean, if you look at the situation, countries don't improve with no matter what the system is because of corruption, obviously. But so have the people got, are they equipped to actually vote, to choose who is going to run the country? What do they do? How do they choose? They look at a couple of posters and a little bit of snippets in newspaper. No one actually does research. Who has time to go and research a political party to see if it's good enough and what it actually stands for? So we look at these posters, vote for me, vote for me. Oh, lack of colors, I dig those colors. Off we go and we vote and our party gets into place and they run the country four years after election. Boom, forget the people, it's back to politics. And it's amazing that while the infrastructure of the country deteriorates and the resources deteriorate, politicians get rich. It's as simple as that. If we show me a politician that is a, an active politician in some kind of standing status, that is poor. They are all rich. Uh, 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 Obama came into when he was president. Before he was president, he had no money. Now he's worth a hundred million bucks. Zelensky was a bloody actor, dog. And now he's a billionaire and he's got houses all over the world because he turned around and fighting a little war. Uh, 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 um, Clinton is worth 250 million bucks. These people have made a fortune. South Africa, what are our people in South Africa worth? Now, how does that work out to be democracy? To me, it looks like all democracy does, it doesn't unite and antagonizes because of the way they actually run their campaigns. So it causes division between population. And not only that, it is widening the way it works within the capitalistic model. And I'm not, I don't know the solution. I'm not a communist. I'm not a, I don't know what a communist is. I don't know what a capitalist is. All the situation, these things, they, they titles, they mean nothing to me. All I see is the gap between the haves and the have nots is widening. Except this time it's across all colors in South Africa, all races. The whites are getting rich and poor. The blacks are getting rich and poor. And the colors are getting rich and poor. Everyone, the gap between those that have money and those that haven't is widening. And this is where politics comes in. I mean, we sit and we say, oh, well, the politics, politicians, we don't steal from the coffers. We are clean. Check the books. No, they don't. Maybe they don't. But what they do do is they are targets for people with money to come and support their campaigns. The campaign of, of, of the, the Democratic Party, they say is around 500 million bucks. And on the, the campaign last night, uh, Obama or someone, one of them was saying, oh yeah, we are so cool because we've raised a billion bucks for campaigning. A billion dollars to campaign for? My God, that money, how many people could it feed? How many homeless shelters could it build? But now it's for campaigning and everyone, yay, democracy. And what they've done is they fooled us all. They're getting rich from it. They take the money from linking up the right connections. And we bought in because they it's democracy. What's the difference between dictatorship? I mean, if you have a look at this democracy, the whole Palestinian question comes into being. The whole world is protesting. All these democracies, the people in the street, no, 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 ceasefire, ceasefire. And what are the politicians saying? Fuck you. They're just doing their own thing. Now, we are really trying. The ceasefire is close, we, we're told, and we expressed our discontent. That's insane, man. It's really, but this is not. Democracy is right, and it should be. There should be some kind. I don't know the format, and I don't know enough about it political structures and stuff, but I do know right and wrong. And to, to be right, for democracy to, to work, the politicians would have to have the honor and integrity that if they were trying to be bought, but, well, it's just a piece of land, man. All you got to do is sign a piece of paper. And they said, no, hold it, but can't do that. If they would do something like that, then it would work. But in, human beings do not have that kind of character 
trade. No one. If someone comes and puts money in your table, South Africa typical the arms deal. Here we got these poor oaks that were locked up, ANC stalwarts now before, that were locked up on a little island for a shitload of years, and they come out next minute, people selling guns are offering them more money than they knew existed on the planet. And they bought them. So instead of turning around and distributing the money through the country, we created a new social elite from the blacks that they joined the Oppenheimers and the upper echelons of, of white society. And they disassociated. They were then going to help the rabble, the masses, from where they came. They were supposed to represent. And all of a sudden, it was back burnished up because now there were favors to honor. And this happens all over the world. This is wrong, man. But anyway, so the concept of democracy, when you think of your vote, find out more about it. And if these people are coming into power and supposedly representing us, surely we should be holding them to account. Some of them are good guys. And I hope this one in South Africa, I mean, America, I think, has got problems. Eh? Europe has got problems. They all say, oh, well, we, everyone, and the whole world loves us. No. The world just shuts up because they're too scared to say anything because it's America, man. You don't turn around and go with it, but now it's getting to the stage where people are saying, okay, right, it's going to be all of rock. But who aligns with Europe? The people, the bastions of, of, of democracy, the bastions of truth and freedom are now the lowlifes condoning genocide and making sure, no, you know, it's not actually genocide. No, this is crazy, man. We need, society needs to stand up again and base itself on a vision that is based on honor and humanity and integrity. These are what we need in our lives. We don't need hustlers that are just changing the wording a little bit so that they can screw us better. Anyone, anyway, think about it. Have a lucky one.